think that concludes the discussion. So I'll open the meeting to hear persons present. If anyone wishes to comment, kindly come up to the microphone and kindly state your name and address. Good evening, Michael Merritt, Mountainside Road. Um, I have a number of things I want to uh, address uh, you, Mr. Mayor, and the Township Committee tonight. First, um, uh, as a TAG member, uh, you mentioned the request to TAG to uh, videotape the uh, extra meetings that you'll be holding. And I wanted to remind you um, that there are, beyond the efforts of the volunteers in providing equipment, there are costs involved with uh, processing the videotapes into DVDs to be um, played on Mendham TV and then um, made available in the library. And uh, those costs have been covered by donations, principally from TAG members. And um, uh, I, I think that uh, we'd like to accommodate you, but um, believe it's unfair to ask us to bear uh, those costs. If, if the Township Committee would be willing to um, cover uh, the cost to the vendor who does that processing, no monies would go to TAG or TAG members, um, then I think that would be a reasonable request to make a TAG. But it's really, um, given all the efforts we've made with the budget meetings and the Township Committee meetings over a period of years, as a TAG member, I would just like to say I'm starting to feel uh, taken advantage of, and I'd like very much to feel that the Township Committee is uh, willing to meet us halfway and let us make the contributions of our time, um, but to cover the nominal cost of processing tapes so that they can be presented for broadcast. Okay. Can I interrupt one second? Please? Sure. Uh, I, I'm uh, attempting to reach out to Mrs. Hayden. I just, I'm attempting to reach out to Mrs. Hayden. We've been communicating by email. Uh, I would like to try to find donations for that before we use public funds. Uh, and if we can't find donations, I think that would solve the problem, wouldn't it? Um, the, the, well, there's an ongoing problem I'd mentioned of even funding for the Township Committee meetings. I believe <coughs> uh, my information is we have funding through the October meetings, um, but we have no, uh, currently we're near the bottom of the barrel and have reached the limit of the willingness of our membership to cover this cost. Um, we've been doing it for years. I think it's value to the community as a parent. Um, the interest of, of the committee to have us um, videotape and present for broadcast of these outside meetings, uh, that interest is evident. If you can find donors to cover that cost, obviously that would be spectacular. But I just want to make clear that's an open issue and there's very great danger of, of the uh, screen going dark on these meetings or extra meetings unless we can find a common solution to that problem. So I, I want to, to touch on that. Um, Second, since I'm the first speaker up and you asked, I think the single stream recycling is fantastic. I think every township resident has a whole bunch of twine they don't have use for anymore because we don't have to wrap up and sort and, and analyze and alphabetize all of, our, all of our recycling. It's fantastic. And the idea that we're actually making concrete progress um, with our neighbors to uh, um, uh, be more efficient and see real savings. I, I had a question about that. You mentioned the 5% savings. And I was just curious, I don't know if you have the number, but I'm sure the, the public would be interested in the concrete uh, expected savings over on an annual basis. And it's, uh, the, when you go to 5%, it's going to be in the five to $7,500 range. Uh, you cover the videotaping right there. Great. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, but nevertheless, I think that's a great precedent. I'm really glad to see shared services become a reality, and I really appreciate the support from the Township Committee and moving ahead in that direction and that for concrete action. It's great and I look forward to hearing more about other uh, uh, items. Uh, your, your practice of, of having a list of to do and reviewing that is really great and I wanted to add one to there. You've had um, uh, repeated requests over time to have an open discussion and presentation on police staffing. Um, that has become uh, from a future-looking question to more of a retrospective and future-looking question at this point, since I believe the request started in January, February, and it's now September, and we have yet to have such a public discussion, so I hope we can have that soon. Um, there's another item. Uh, at a presentation, Mr. Mayor, you, you pointed to a stack of studies on the table here about the regionalization and I was wondering if those studies are not yet available on the website, whether they could be as part of this process of making information available to the public. 
Um, I agree those studies we paid for, they should be a, a useful grounding for uh, the public's understanding, and I hope we can, if they're not, that we can make those available um, to the I public. Have, I have the, the binder, I believe it's sitting on my uh, dining room table. I'd be happy to bring it in and uh, if we can scan it and put it on there. That'd be great. For more information. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Um, Merrick. So then the last thing I wanted to ask you, uh, you've, you've talked about um, this uh, committee that has been formed to set up these informational meetings as township committee meetings. And I have some questions about that because I, I wasn't aware of an action by the township committee having been present at uh, the regularly scheduled meetings. Is this an official township committee? The presentation, no. The, the, it's organizing these, these, uh, the agendas of the informational meetings? It will have to be noticed as such because I would anticipate a quorum of this body being present, if not all of them. Okay, so so is it, it? Are we anticipating the creation of that committee, or has that committee been formed? I, I thought your question was whether or not the township committee would be. No, no. I, my question is the committee that's setting the agendas for these informational meetings, which will be township committee meetings. You announced, Mr. Mayor, that a committee with four members. Is, is that an official township committee meeting, like the budget? Uh, I mean, committee like the. I, I asked, on? if you recall, at the last meeting, I said that I would take uh, the uh, request from the other mayors to put forth a plan, and I asked for some assistance from members of the public and uh, from members of the township committee. Obviously, I can't have a quorum of more than two members of the township committee because then it would be a violation of law. Well, Mr. you Mer could have a public meeting. I mean, you, 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 there's been a great deal of criticism of the mayors getting together to have a strategy meeting in private, and now you formed a committee specifically so that you can meet in private to formulate our strategy about presentations. I'm just asking, is this an official township uh, committee of the township committee? It's not. No, no it's not. Okay, then, then I'm puzzled as to what its legal status is, how its membership has been uh, determined, whether in particular the members of this committee um, are uh, members of the group that calls themselves the um, Citizens for Better Schools. Um, how they expect to determine the agendas for these meetings, I think meetings to inform the public are great. I'm just curious about the process. Um, whether the public will have an opportunity to suggest agenda items and speakers for these meetings. Um, and uh, I think that uh, that pretty much covers my questions about about that committee and how the agendas for these meetings will be set. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.